next the Pontiac half car aka Pontiac from hell that hasn't been running since the summer let's see what's going to happen yeah it's full of snow too yeah definitely gonna need some serious ass protection and a little digging to get that hood open yeah screw them we gotta get the job done <laughs> well there's a sight for you guys in Australia bet you never seen no motor blown in like that with snow battery is in let's see what's gonna happen can't even see where the throttle is we got contact now fuel pump it's running I hope there's no water in that gas tank and here we go come on it's kind of muffled I think the ignition wires are too wet or snowy, whatever you want to call it. Not even a pop. Oh well, that sucks. Too bad. piece of shit well now let's check out the prospects of starting that thing bet you it's all blown in too oh. yep well I ain't even gonna try it you know how much Chrysler's hate wet ignition wires oh well have to keep waiting and someday I'll get a fuel pump and get that thing running in the winter. Problem is, the bus funnels all the wind right into that car and just packs it with snow. And there's too much snow to move the bus. We had an early winter and we're screwed. At least till spring. We sure got lots of snow this year. Way too much to even drive a four-wheel drive. You can hardly even recognize the cars. That's the Cressida the GTS, the venerable floppy cock, they all got muffins on board and that's optional. There's got to be at least two feet of snow on each car. The El Toromino was filled right to, up to the top. I wonder if it's going to start next year. And that's the celebrity wagon. Definitely a winter wasteland. The beach ain't looking too hot either. In fact, it looks mighty cold. And there's Sky Hill. 